Hi, Tim Roberts, Application Engineer with Go Engineer. This quick tip video, I'm going to discuss loft connectors and how you can modify the shape of a loft without using guide gears. So here we've got three different sketches um, created with the same number of entities. That's important for a loft. We'll go to uh, our lofted boss and we'll select um, profile uh, one and then uh, two and I'm purposely going to introduce a twist. It, it tries to connect where you select these profiles with the mouse. Okay, so we introduce a little bit of a twist and in fact we don't even have a preview. So <clears throat> these green dots are the active loft connectors. We can drag those to influence the shape, um, how the loft transitions through our three guide curves. Okay, you probably already knew that. Um, and then ultimately we've got some uh, parameters here that we can apply to the start and end of our loft. And so the order of the loft curves matters, okay, and uh, the number of segments in the loft matters. Now if you right mouse click you can access the show all connectors. Now we have many more choices on what we can drag to influence the shape of this loft, right? So um, we can begin to fine-tune this loft by manually dragging these connectors uh, to basically affect the shape, okay? And that's a pretty useful tool. Um, ultimately, if you uh, mess up like this, you'll lose the preview. Uh, you can right mouse click and say uh, undo that connector edit okay that takes you back to the last or if you just want to reset them you can right mouse click and say reset connectors okay so a pretty useful tool uh, ultimately when you do your loft if you cannot get the shape that you want um, with these settings with loft connectors you're probably going to end up using guide curves and that's easy to do here um, this is Tim Roberts at Go Engineer. Thanks for watching this quick tip video.